This is a shocking admission today in the trial of the alleged drunk driver who crashed into a police car and nearly killed a cop. Our Sherry Einhorn, live for us now at the Mediola Courthouse. Sherry? Well, Scott, what happened during opening arguments came as a surprise to some sitting in the courtroom. Defense attorney, uh, the defense attorney said his client, Raheem Griffin, may be guilty of some of the things he's charged with, but not all of them. That admission, though, came as little to no comfort to the family of Nassau County Police Officer Kenneth Barabolt. His family says their life will never be the same. Prosecutors described 28-year-old Raheem Griffin as a, quote, speeding and reckless drunk driver who nearly killed Nassau police officer Kenneth Barabolt. Barabolt's parents, two sisters, and fellow police officers packed into the Mineola courtroom for day one of the trial. It's emotionally upsetting for us. It's hard to talk about, so we're just trying to do the best we can. It was May 18, 2008. Barabolt was in his marked patrol car on the side of the LIE, having just stopped another alleged drunk driver. Cops say Griffin slammed into the back of the patrol car, critically injuring Officer Barabolt. A year later, his family says he is still recovering. Since day one, he's held up unbelievable. His attitude has been great. He works every day very hard. Defense attorney Gerard Brogdon doesn't deny Griffin's part in the accident, but he did tell jurors about a mechanical defect on the car. He said just before the accident, Griffin replaced a flat tire, and the replacement didn't fit the make and model of Griffin's Mercedes. Barabolt's father had a strong reaction to that defense. Kind of lame. What he did do was he actually drove while intoxicated. What he did do was he actually hurt someone seriously while he was driving while intoxicated. What he did not do was purposely think and say, you know what, I'm going to take this risk anyway. Griffin's family did not speak with reporters. Barabolt's family said they plan to attend the trial every day to make sure justice is done. He wants to get away with something. He doesn't want to own up to what he did. Now we're told the DA's office does plan to call Officer Kenneth Barabolt to testify as best he can. His family told us the officer is still only able to speak in simple words and simple sentences. The trial expected to go on for quite some time. We are live tonight in Mineola. I'm Shari Einhorn, News 12 Long Island. Keep an eye on the sky. Go to Channel 612. Select weather and Doppler Live Radio. On News 12 Interactive, only on Cablevision. Not on phone company TV or anywhere else.